you can see, we've been kind of busy. Been nice to get out of the greenhouse and get some stuff into the ground out here. Uh, the, uh, the video that you saw of Autumn planting, she was planting her peas that she was so excited to help. What? Anyway, so we are getting ready now to start planting some of our cabbages and broccoli and things like that. Uh, so I'm really excited about doing that. Um, we're going to be using a method called high intensity method. Um, I have never tried that before, so this will be my first time doing this. So I, I'm not an expert in it at all. Um, we're just trying it this year. I've watched several videos on it, um, and I'm excited to try it. So we'll see. You know, it's to kind of help with. Um, so why would you want to do that kind of a, of a thing? Um, well, it helps with like. Um, uh, weed, uh, weed control, um, that sort of thing, um, keeping moisture in the soil, that sort of thing. Uh, so, also it maximizes your grow space also. So, that is what we're going to be trying to do this year. Uh, I'm going to try to explain it a little bit uh, as I'm doing it. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, you, you know, you just have to stay tuned to see how it does. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about trying that kind of um, method of growing. Just, just a, I hate wasting space, so I'm kind of excited about uh, trying to do this um, with high intensity growing. You know, like uh, if you're you're doing like an in-ground garden, you tend to do rows, so you have like paths to walk in between them. Well, with high intensity especially in like a, a raised bed you don't have to worry about rows you've already got that so you can use every inch of that um, raised bed in order to grow your food so I'm going to uh, get things ready get it get my plants out here and uh, get started on planting because I'm really excited about finally being able to get some stuff in the ground uh, normally I would have my cold weather stuff in the ground already but I've been so busy with everything else that it hasn't um, been on my to-do list up till now. So I need to get them planted. Um, you'll see that my plants are very small. I think they're kind of stunted, so they really need to get out. I wasn't when I when I did start them. I didn't think they would be in the the plug trays as long as they have been. So it's kind of my own fault, but I had no intention of up potting them. I was just going to start them and get them out here. Um, but we needed to start some or build the beds, get them filled. And uh, then it's been, we've had snow and nasty weather. And so I just haven't been able to get out and um, get them planted. So we're going to work on that today and uh, we'll see how it goes anyway. So let me go get my stuff and uh, I'll meet you over there by the bed. All right, so I'm out here. I've got everything I need to do. Ah. Fly, ant <laughs> fighting out my leg. Ah. Anyway, so um, what I'm going to be planting out here is I've got two different kinds of cabbage. I've got a Dutch cabbage and I have a Copenhagen, oh, I got three different kinds. A Copenhagen cabbage and I have a purple cabbage. So I'm planning, gonna plant those, and then I've got um, a couple kinds of cauliflower, broccoli, I've got green, and I've got purple broccoli, I've got kohlrabi. I think that's, that's pretty much it. So what I am kind of thinking of doing with this is I'm going to put like my bigger stuff, which is like um, the cabbages and the cauliflower, I'm gonna plant those first. And then I'm going to go back through and fill in the different areas, maybe with like um, uh, my broccoli, put them in between each section of um, cauliflower and broccoli, or cauliflower and cabbage. So um, every so many feet, ants determined to have that fly on my leg. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, let me, let me see. For my cabbages, I've got my dibber, and I think this is like about a foot long. So I think I'm going to be planting my cabbages about a foot long from center. 
and then um, like when I put in my broccoli, which is going to be why I'm doing that is because broccoli gets taller than cabbages and cauliflower. Cauliflower and cabbages tend to be, you know, more squatty type plants that are down to the ground a little more. So when, so if the broccoli comes up, it'll be way taller than the cabbage and it won't be competing for sunlight or any of that stuff. So it should work out, ouch, just fine to do it that way. And then kohlrabi doesn't get that big either. It's a smaller little plant. So I'm thinking of maybe putting those around the edge of this bed. Uh, those, I think they actually mature faster than the cabbages and all that. So they'll be out of here by the time the, the cabbages get big. Those will be out of here. So um, that should work. Like I said, I'm new to this. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna share with you. Also, it'll be something that I can look back and I can watch this video later and see how I did it. And you know, at the end of this season, when I'm harvesting everything, I can see what, what didn't work or if I failed at anything or you know, if it did work or what I should do better or the observations, that sort of thing. So that's another good thing that I can do about the, these um, videos is I can go back and watch them and go, oh yeah, that's what I did and I remember it didn't work. So, or whatever, it didn't work out or I planted things too close or I didn't, I could have planted them closer or something like that along those lines. So I'm just gonna get started here. Um, the first thing I'm going to be doing, like I said, is my cabbages. And then I'm going to do the cauliflower. And I don't know how many of each one of those I have. Uh, I have a couple of rows on the end of this tray that I did not label. So I'm not sure if those are cabbage or if they are broccoli. And I don't know if you've ever planted brassicas, but these are all different ones and these are I mean you can tell I mean other than like I think these are purple kohlrabis these are no I think these are purple cabbages actually I'm not sure and then um, these here I do believe are purple broccoli and then there's some purple kohlrabi in there but as you can see they all kind of look the same I mean they've got some here that have their first leaves on them but still I have no clue I cannot remember what I planted there so um, that's going to be a surprise. I do have some, um, oops, some parsley I planted in here, and, and those took forever to come up, but they're starting to come up now. Uh, I did see what I did. I made a big, big mistake with those. So I'm also kind of remembering that for next year, how to start parsley. That is one thing that we use a lot of, so not a big deal. I have some in the greenhouse that I started as well. So we eat a lot of parsley, so not a big deal. But anyway, these are going to be a surprise. I... I never wrote it down what it was and I'm pretty sure I went, you know, I'm going to remember what that is because there wasn't a whole lot of it or something because I, I had to reseed this tray actually. Uh, so uh, I have no clue what I planted here on the end. Don't do that. If you plant something, make sure to label what you've planted because I don't have any, I, it looks purple almost. So it could even be purple cabbage. It could be purple broccoli. I have, I have no idea. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with these. I've got uh, three rows of these. I have no clue <laughs> what they are. So um, yeah, don't make my mistake. Make sure you label stuff so you know, because you're never going to remember what you planted. I because I don't. I just know that it looks like it's got a purple stem, so it looks like it's a purple, maybe a purple variety of something. So it could be purple kohlrabi, purple cabbage, or purple broccoli. I don't know. So we'll find out. But anyway, I'm going to get these planted. I'm going to work on these. I've got a lot of them. And hopefully this bed's big enough to at least accommodate most of these. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I want to get this planted, and uh, then I want to show you, uh, at the front of this video, you saw me bringing in some rocks. So I want to show you, I hope it, I haven't even looked, so hopefully my, uh, my shots worked out. We're actually looking into getting me a different camera, so that it makes it maybe a little bit easier to uh, set up and um, 
because I don't even know if I've cut my head off <laughs> on any of this. So anyway, I'm going to get these planted and then I'll check my video out and uh, you should be able to, uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to edit it and get it out so you can watch tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. This is Monday and I did bring in rocks last night. Uh, no, today's Tuesday. My bad. The days are just running into each other. Uh, so today's Tuesday, so I'm going to try to get this edited and out tonight so you can watch it. So we'll see. It might be Wednesday before I can get it out. We'll see. I've just been so stinking busy, especially since a lot of you know that uh, our greenhouse opens in, da -da -da -da, what, five days? We had it open Saturday, anyway. So I've been really busy trying to get all of that squared away and ready to go. Um, and then I, I really need to get some stuff planted, so I'm doing double duty right now. So anyway, I'm going to get these planted, and uh, I'll let you watch on a time lapse. So we'll see you in a little over here by the, my little rock pile that I made and I'm getting ready to do this project. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make a bed in here and I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do it. I thought about following this grass area and curving it around and then bringing it back and I'm um, almost kind of making almost kind of like a, a keyhole garden right there but I don't know I haven't decided yet. I need to make another bed and I want to make it with rocks and that's a lot of work trying to get all these rocks uh there's a lot of fields around here that have rocks in them so i could get enough rocks that's not the problem problem is time and um energy mostly <laughs> So I have a lot of work ahead of me. I gotta get these all organized. Uh, I brought these over last night because I knew Sean needed his tractor today. And I wanted to have some rocks over here that I could start this project. And then when I can get it the, a chance to get the tractor again, um, I'll be able to get some more rocks and just keep bringing them over until, until I need to do it. Uh, like I said, I have two beds over here that I want to do in rocks, at least two. I may do a third, I'm not sure. Until I get my my actual beds all finished and laid out, I'm not going to know how much room I actually have to, make, to build out here until I get them all done. Uh, so, um, that's what I'm at to right now.
The ferocious pit bull. See how ferocious she is? I mean, that snake has no chance. <laughs> I don't know if I just got that on tape or not. Oh man. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I should have known, but I was not expecting that. <laughs> so, I did get my rocks moved after my little heart attack. And I hope you got a good laugh out of it, because I did not. <laughs> I do not like snakes. And, uh, anyway, <laughs> I think, I'm not sure, I might do, um, oh, maybe a couple more, uh, a couple more uh, tractor um, tractor bucketfuls of rocks, and I might just do it around here and make it a little a little nice little bed of some sort somehow. We'll see. Uh, anyway, so I did get it done. So I got my uh, brassicas all planted. I've got, um, I'm, I'm doing the high intensity method like I, er, I mentioned earlier in the video. So I'm going to show you uh, what I have done so far. But I'm, not continue, I'm not completely done with this bed. There is one more thing that I want to add to this bed. I've also thought of um, if I've got room, I'm not sure if I'm going to have room, but I would like to maybe even add some marigolds later on to this bed to kind of help with keeping away cabbage moths and other things. So that I'm going to be probably doing after the threat of frost. Um, I have some ready to go. I just, I'm waiting for them not to die. <laughs> so anyway, let me show you real quick what I have done so far and um, then I can uh, show you what I'm going to be adding to this bed to make it even more uh, efficient or grow even more food. So let me show you. Here I have a cabbage and there's a couple of them in there. I'll probably pull one of those out later. And then I have a broccoli, another cabbage, another broccoli, another cabbage. And, and, the, and the, uh, the pattern just continues on through this whole thing. Yes, I need a weed already. <laughs> Never ending. And then along the side here, doo -doo -doo, oh, up oh, here. I'm going to put I'm going to be putting a trellis here. But anyway, here along here you can kind of see and along here I put some kurabi. Those will be growing in there. So the whole edge of the other than where I'm going to be putting a trellis is all covered in broccoli. So I've got, you can see there's quite a bit of a distance in between each of these. And I'm going to add one more thing in this high intensity bed. So I'll show you what that is. All right, so the thing that I'm going to be adding in between the rows of my brassicas are onions. I've got all these onions. I have, a, I've got two, another tray of uh, these, the bulbing onions, and then I've got leeks, and I've got one of bunching onions. So I'm going to be putting onions kind of everywhere this year. So I've got here these onions, and I'm going to be putting them um, in between the rows because they don't take much much space they're not going to need a huge area to grow and these are already really tall so they're not going to be bothered at all by the bigger plants that'll be around them so for these you can see i just put them in a tray i just put seeds in there and then covered them and uh let's see i'm gonna dig my hole All right. 
So this is pretty simple. You're just gonna pull these out just like that. And onions are pretty forgiving. Uh, these these roots, if even if you break them off, it's not going to bother them too much. That's why I planted them that way. Uh, I'll probably <laughs> a couple of hands while I'm planting these. I'll probably take out like a chunk and just break it up, and then I'll be able to plant these. But when you're planting these, you don't want to go any deeper then like right here where the, the kind of where the yellow starts turning into green and that'll give you bigger bulbs so that is what I am going to be doing I'm not going to be planting it very deep I'm just going to be planting it just deep enough to to, to get that in there and um, that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing that in the between in between uh, <laughs> in between all of my rows and uh, I'll show you what it looks like after it's done because I'll probably be weeding as well <laughs> it looks like so I don't want to get behind on that and I am planning on I've got to get some but I am planning on mulching this bed to kind of help suppress the weeds in here until things start getting to be, grow on their own. So I got to get these these uh, onions planted. I'm a little behind. I was hoping to get these in, but better late than never, I suppose. But uh, I need to get it done, and this is going to take a while. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh yes, and I will show you at the end what I what I did. But uh, yes, I do hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for hanging out with me. I have a lot of work yet to do <laughs> to get some more things done around here, but I think once it's going to be done, I'm, I'm going to be enjoying it. So uh, I enjoy the process too. Uh, you know, every year I grow more and more and more and I get bigger and bigger and bigger. Of course, my kids keep getting bigger and bigger so they consume a lot more. So it takes a little bit more to fill them up. So anyway, I hope you enjoy watching as, as I do develop into um, my little different areas and sh I can show you how you can grow some more food. So I got to get these planted. Hmm. We'll talk to you later.